family, it's the Mobile Home Diva, and today we got some real life situations going on, you guys. My life is a hot mess, as you can see from all the disarray going on around us. Um, it's time to get our, this house in order, and so I think I'm going to do a series. The next few videos are going to be about mobile home living and organizing. So I hope you guys are ready. I want you to get your mop buckets, get your cleaning rags, and whatever you need. Let's get motivated. We're going to clean together. So in tonight's video, it's going to be the kitchen. Um, and I have a few other areas. I think um, my closet will be another area and possibly the bathroom. And it may be a mixture of more than one room because some of the things that are in this kitchen that are causing me anxiety are actually going to be put into my storage closet to make room in here and also help me get better organized in there. So make sure that you hit the subscribe button, you guys. You don't want to miss a video if you're interested in getting your life organized, okay? Um, so yeah, stay tuned. Let's get to clean. I'm so excited for this clean, y'all. So the first step is to empty out all the cabinets that I want to organize. This one had a mixture of storage items and um, food stuff. So I am going to create a cabinet just for storage items. And this food stuff, excuse me, I'm going to create a cabinet just for food stuff. And the storage item will go in my storage closet. So yay for that. Let's get it started. My storage cabinet is closet is such a hot mess y'all I'm telling you this is going to be a part of this series I know I've done this closet a million times but there has got to be a better way to organize it so we're going to just figure it out Number one was to put the storage stuff there on that shelf, but I'm probably going to change my mind as you'll see in a minute. So back to the kitchen. First, I get all of the pots out of this cabinet. Big headache. And then I get the toilet paper out of the next cabinet um, so that I can put that in the storage room. And as you can see um, up above, I have moved the storage items to the top shelf there along with the toilet paper. Now it's time to clean out the rest of the cabinets. These are all my casserole dishes. This cabinet is really too small for all the stuff. I have to pull everything out just to find that one casserole dish that I am looking for. Totally not going to work. So let me give you an overview of everything. This is the empty cabinet. All of those casserole dishes will go in a bigger space. Then for the island, I usually have appliances and little gadgets in there, but half of these appliances I don't even use. So I'm going to throw some out and um, keep the ones that I'm definitely going to use. Um, and I'll probably put my pots under here. I don't know, but we'll see. This is the space where the toilet paper was. I think this would be a good cabinet for food stuff. And then all of these pots, of course, it was too much for that little space. And that is where all the storage items were. So first things first, let's go ahead and get rid of all the things that I am not going to use. decided to start by cleaning out each um, cabinet and then putting what I want to go there. This one is going to be for my casserole dishes. It is much a much bigger space than the original cabinet that they were in and I can um, have more room. That dish actually has food in it but I wanted to make sure that it could fit in that space because it will go on the bottom as it's the biggest. There are quite a few dishes in this set um, and some other things that I'll show you 
those are uh, what you set your pots on to keep them from being on um, just the counter and those are holders for the dishes as you can see there I'll put those holders in the storage space next are my pots I'm super excited for this area they can spread out eventually I'll get shelving for um, or organizers as you can see I have a lid organizer there and they have some cute pot ones but I really want to DIY some shelves so I'm gonna research that and see how it goes um, I don't mind that there's not a lot of stuff in there or in any of these I just want to not have to pull everything out to um, find what I'm looking for All right, family, I feel really good about what we got so far. So this is this cabinet. Now this is my junk cabinet, okay? This is like stuff I wasn't ready to throw away. As you saw in earlier clips, I did throw some things away. Some of it, uh, well, all of it is, uh, this is like a storage cabinet. Um, my blender, my Nutribullet, um, some thermal containers for like hot soups and stuff. My um, food processor. This is to clean a, uh, a little kit to clean cast iron. And then I have the uh, drink dispensers in the back. I may eventually move those to the storage room. I don't know. I put all my pots in the island. It's not gonna stay like this. Just like I got the organizer for lids, I need to get some shelving so that I can better organize these cabinets. All of my cabinets need shelves, you guys. This, these are standard cabinets that came with this mobile home and they don't have shelves in the bottoms. So I'm either going to make DIY some shelves or buy some organizers that will act as shelving. Um, but I wanted my pots in here because having them in a smaller cabinet, I'm having to pull everything out to find a pot, put everything back in, and it, it was just easy to get unorganized. Now over here is where I had the toilet paper and that's gonna be food stuff. I'm doing my grocery shopping on tomorrow. The day's Thursday. I always do my grocery shopping on Friday um, and that'll be for like chips and extra drinks and stuff like this. This used to be for my pots. This is for small appliances. I did throw the big uh, crock pot away and kept the smaller one. That's my rotisserie. I'm standing in the shadow of that. Big black thing is my rotisserie. This um, silver and black box on top of it, that is to seal. Um, you put the plastic in, put food in the plastic and then that seals it up so you can put it in the freezer. My toaster, my Waffle House waffle iron, can opener, all of those things. And th those are plastic bags. All of those type things will go in here. They used to be in the island with a lot of other stuff and it, ju it was just too much. And then all of my casserole dishes that I bake in and serve in are in here. There's one other one, which is this bigger one. It has food in it right now. It'll go up under the back one. That's why I put it in there in the earlier cut to see if it would fit next to this big white one. So all of that will be casserole dishes. Now it was in a smaller cabinet and I will always have to pull everything out to find what I was looking for. So I like it in this bigger cab cabinet here. So that's it you guys. I'm not really showing you the kitchen because it is a hot mess. Um, the next thing I'm going to do is clean the kitchen and that'll be in another video. So I love you guys. Thank you for watching the, this is part one of the mobile home organization series. I'll redo the kitchen one, not redo it, but update you with the organizers. I'm going to jump on my phone now and try to find some and get those ordered. I did order the old cedar spin mop per all of the suggestions that I got. And I will show you how it works for the house. 
um when it comes it should be here on sunday today's thursday it says sunday but it, it says sunday because it's not considered an essential item but if it ships earlier more than likely i'll get it earlier um and yeah that's it for today um i'm super tired i may or may not clean today i don't know i haven't decided yet but whatever i do i'll put it on video you guys have a great night i love you and i'll talk to you soon Bye bye